not even about the camera, man. It's no, not even about the fucking camera. It is camera. about the camera. It's about never about genuine. the fucking camera. It's no. about the edit. The fucking edit is everything. So I spent most of my morning packaging packages, as you can see. I would say I had a pretty successful day. I mean, you can always do better. See, I like to make, hold on, I hate to break the fourth fucking law, but uh, editing guy, thank you. So as I was saying, I like to set goals for myself pretty much every day. And what I do is I write the goals down like I was saying in one of the other vlogs. And it seems to be fucking helping me out a lot. I don't know why that is, but it seems to be fucking doing it. Setting goals for myself often throughout the day or throughout the week or month or whatever it is keeps me progressing forward. How I work is, is if there's not a problem, I don't progress. A lot of times I create problems for myself just so I'll work harder to get shit done. And I find it makes me better at whatever the fuck it is that I'm doing. I'm on my way to the grocery store to get some groceries, by the way. <laughs> and this brings us to vlogging every day. I fancy myself a video maker, so I'm like, how do I get better at it? Simple, by forcing myself to do it every day. I'm forcing myself to create something new every day, and in turn, I will get better at fucking doing it. For example, I gotta shoot a fucking vlog today, but I have a lot of shit to do today. How do I fucking do that? By shooting one topic throughout the whole fucking day. <sighs> Got my groceries. See, I find that being creative comes from having a problem. You have to have a problem first to solve in order to get your mind thinking on how to fucking solve that problem, which in turn makes you fucking creative. <laughs> At least that's what I fucking believe. the opportunities let's say you're painting a picture you got all the colors you can ever use sure you can probably make a pretty dope picture but that's not really gonna make you fucking creative you want to make yourself work on your creativity you gotta fucking put yourself in a situation to be fucking creative I find that creativity is kind of lacking in modern times sure there's people out there that are making media and content designing stuff but I feel like it's all just most of it anyways it's just a rehash of what's already been done no one's really doing anything New. Not to say there's no one completely, but it's slim to none. I'm in the bathroom at the thrift store, by the way. It smells like an old man's depend stuffed with Indian food in here. It's just a bad time. Of course, the paper towel. Rag. Other than lack of creativity nowadays, I mean, I feel like people maybe they're just afraid to do things a little bit different than what's been done. Everyone tends to follow trends. I remind myself sometimes that there are people out there that like to be in style, they like to follow trends, that's what they do. I've never been one of those fucking people. But for those out there that are trying to do stuff new, that want to do stuff new, that want to be creative, create a problem. My problem right now is that I have to give all my money to the consumer people. I'm basically waiting in line right now to get raped in the ass. It's a good time. So how do you create a problem? Simple. For example, like I was saying, I wanted to make sure that I started not only filming again, but I wanted to get better at it. So I told myself, you're gonna make vlogs every day. So whatever it is that you want to do or want to be more creative at, just do it all the time. And you'll get better at it. And as you get better, you'll run into a problem where it's like, man, I'm efficient at doing it, but I keep doing the same thing over and over again. How can I make it fucking different? And in turn, making it better. And that's where your creative juices will start kicking in, in theory. <laughs> At least that's how it works for me. I'm meal prepping right now, by the way. This sweet potato is white on the inside.
So I guess the take home from this is, when you have a problem that comes up in your life, don't look at it as like, oh, it's a fucking problem. Look at it as an opportunity to get fucking creative. Now, the more often that you set little goals to yourself and you fucking accomplish them by problem solving, you're training your creative fucking mind. Just like training in the gym, the more often you train your creative mind, the more creative and better you become at fucking problem solving. So when then problems, big ordeals come to your fucking life, it's like, it's not a big fucking thing to you. That seems to work out for me.